would be for what uh, and how you would go about picking the gear for the racetrack we're on. Okay, it has a lot to do with the battery and the motor that you've got as far as that combination. If you've got a real hot modified motor, you have to go to a much uh, higher gear ratio, or more like a four and a half to one, in order to let the, the batteries dump at a certain curve. And uh, if the hotter the motor, the sharper the curve on the battery dump, and if you, if you have to run a much higher gear ratio to be able to make the four minutes that we have as a limit here uh, at the track, we have to be able to race around this track four minutes. And if you've got the wrong gear selection, then you will dump your batteries or lose the power out of your batteries and you'll stop. Uh, so in stock, we usually run around a three and a half to one or so, and uh, and and that seems to work a lot better. You can go with a with a much different gear ratio and be able to get around that track in that four minute time. So the length, the time length of the batteries is approximately four minutes, mm -hmm. and uh, the type of electric motor that you have, and the wheel uh, size has to do with the gear ratio, but mainly you're wanting that battery to last for the four minutes uh, while you're out there. Right. You don't want it to last hardly any time after that four minutes. That's the whole trick to this. The hotter the battery, the sooner it dumps after the race, the better you are. Ideally, uh, as soon as that race is over, your battery would dump, and that is going as fast as your particular car is able to go. Okay, I notice you don't keep your battery back here at the back of the truck where you're working. You have it up front with the hood up. What? Uh, tell me a little bit about that. Well, we have to use special type of chargers. These are all NICAD cells, and they're usually charged. Uh, these SCR type cells are charged at about eight to nine amps, and we have to convert from 12 volt to those to the the voltage that these batteries use to charge with. So our chargers which are specialized just for this type of racing, charge these batteries off a regular 12-volt source. Okay, in other words, you don't plug it in someplace, you just charge off of the battery that you in the vehicle that you drove to the races. Right, that, that's, that's what works. Now, there are AC to DC chargers that some people have, but when we're out in these remote tracks and everything, uh, the, the best source is just a regular car battery. All right, I'd like to thank you for bringing us up to date about the little wheels in racing. What's your name and where are you from, sir? Greg Titus from Little Rock, Arkansas. All right, Greg, uh, we noticed you're getting your car ready. What uh, adjustments or changes are you making on the car between uh, your first heat and your second heat before you go to the big main event? We're going to redo the gearing and redo the chassis tweak a little bit. Terms uh, that you would hear from Grand National sprint cars, stock cars, and it applies even in a little electric car, right? It sure does. It, uh, it's very important. When you're running an oval, there's track factors such as the banking and the, uh, the gearing so that you can come off the corners and get to speed. You do need to readjust your gearing sometimes and readjust your chassis tweak. Well, how long have you been involved in remote control uh, electric racing? About five years. I've raced mostly off-road and I'm just getting into the on-road cars. You like the on-road or you really like the off-road better? I like them both, but I'm starting to learn to like the on-road a little better. Well, I'll ask you a question. Uh, as most aspiring race drivers, which you are, uh, do you look for bigger and better things? Are you looking to go maybe to the gasoline-powered uh, remote control cars? Or uh, you might even want to drive a Grand National car or a Sprint car. I'm looking to stay mostly with the electric cars. They're a little more portable for me and a little more affordable as well. So uh, looking to go to some national level races. They do have national level and uh, U.S. national level races that I want to get to some this summer. All right. Have you ever thought of driving a, a, a full size race car? Have thought about it, but every time you watch them on TV, it looks a little on the dangerous side. So when you roll one of these over, you go out, kick it over, and keep going. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's the best way to end it. You roll it over, or kick it over, and uh, keep, keep going. going. Got a couple of gentlemen down here getting uh, working feverishly on your race car. Uh, what's your name, and where are you from? Uh, my name's J.D. Crow, and I'm from Mall Mill, Arkansas. And how long have you been into uh, these ty this type of racing? I've been running uh, electric cars for about three years. Also, did some gas car racing also. Okay, which which uh, you, you you ever want to get bigger and go maybe in a real race car? Oh yes, I always want to want to try a real race car. But uh, my wife already told me I'd be single when I did it. All right, that's a good reason. And we've got another race car driver here. What's your name and where are you from? My name is Jim Fromm, and I'm from Jacksonville. Jacksonville, Arkansas. Arkansas. Yes, okay, oh, we're wondering Florida there. Oh, no, no. Okay, Jacksonville, Arkansas. And uh, how long have you been in the sport? Uh, I've been racing. I started out racing dirt cars about four years ago and just recently got into...